on Ilao in Batangas, is in the heart of the Coral Triangle, and boasts one of the most diverse marine ecosystems in the world. On a recent dive trip, my wife and I, dove around various sites in Mabini and on Ilao, including Caban Cove, Sombrero Island, Cathedral Rock, Twin Rocks and Dive and Trek. These are just a few of the immense varieties of marine life to experience in the Philippines. First up is a spotted moray. This eel lives in reefs in the West Pacific and Indian Oceans. They are recognized by their white or gray bodies with irregular black spots that can join up to make large black splotches. The tiny and beautiful Lox Chromo Doris belongs to one of the two major body types of nudibranchs. An average size of 3.5 cm, this nudibranch is characterized by white or pale blue bodies with black or dark blue stripes. The red lionfish is common in Balayan Bay. Be careful! Those spines are venomous. In the 1980s, giant clams were declared extinct in the Philippines. Through the conservation efforts of national scientist, Dr. Edgardo Gomez, these beautiful creatures are once again thriving in Philippine waters. The giant moray has the largest body mass of any moray eel and can reach lengths of almost 10 feet. It is not aggressive, but because of high concentrations of toxins possible in their bodies, they can be poisonous if eaten. So leave them be and enjoy them in their natural habitat. The tiger snake moray is a shy creature, but don't provoke them or they'll attack. A beautiful fox face rabbit fish and a clear fin lizard fish hunt for food among the dead corals of twin rocks. Some of the reefs around Anilao are still recovering from decades of illegal blast fishing. Creatures like this black-spotted sea cucumber are thriving once again, and those same fishermen are now making their livings guiding dive tourists instead. The tiny graceful anemone shrimp are hard to spot due to their translucent bodies. Sometimes, you can see the eggs inside a pregnant female. These shy, ringed pipefish are unusual because in this species, it's the male that gives birth after the female deposits her eggs into the male's pouch. The bridled, monocle bream is common in the Indo-Pacific region. Some juveniles are completely yellow before they develop their adult coloration. The symbiotic relationship between the Nemo fish and sea anemones is well known. These are false clown anemone fish, distinguished by the lack of a black outline on their white stripes. They love to come up to your face to try and scare you off. There is nothing, nothing, like the sight of a large hawksbill turtle underwater. These magnificent creatures are still on the endangered list. They were hunted for their shells and often are inadvertently captured in fishing gear. Many are killed by vessel strikes and other dangers. Warming of their habitats and beaches where they lay their eggs is also taking a toll on their numbers. Mabina dive guides and boatmen are protective of the turtles. If you touch or disturb them, they will have a few words with you and possibly even report you to authorities. Let's all respect the habitat of these awesome creatures. <music> 